All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem meaning in the name. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of his only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. And Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as you Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but are Israelites. And I also would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, like pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch out in Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Habakkuk Rosh. And this lesson is going to be based off of this uh, video here on the screen uh, from Dabu 7, uh, Dabu 77, entitled Trump Warns of Enforceable Lockdowns in New York, New Jersey, and Parts of Connecticut. All right, and what um what we're experiencing here uh in Babylon, all right, well, actually throughout the world, this is happening everywhere, is uh these various nations are being sieged, all right, and since we're talking about Babylon specifically here in Babylon, that's what's happening, all right. Now, I'm gonna look up this word siege real quick, just a basic definition. Um now the word siege, it says a military operation in which enemy forces surround a town or building, uh, cutting off essential supplies with the aim of compelling the surrender of those inside. And this is what Esau Edom has been doing. All right. Now in the siege in the ancient world, you have a military force that would come and surround the city. Right. So when they surround that city, they cut off all supplies coming in and out. Any trade within that city can't be done because the military is out there. All right. So they, uh, so the people inside, all right, they exhaust their resources, all right, to where famine uh, happens, all right, uh, uh, diseases, plagues, uh, people start fighting one another, insurrections amongst one another, all right, because of the the lack of resources, all right, um, uh, within that city, right. Now these are all things that are that's being done, all right, just like it was done in the ancient world is being done now. You have Esau, you have Esau. He's uh, quarantined certain areas, all right? Quarantined certain areas, bringing in the military, okay? And he's going to cause these people to surrender to do his will, all right? And what is he going to ultimately uh, cause people to surrender and do? Receive the RFID chip. If you want to be released from the siege, okay, then you're going to need to take the mark of the beast, which is this RFID chip, if you want relief from this situation that we're in, man. All right. And oftentimes, all right, in a siege, if the military, uh, they would surround the city and they would beat the walls down until the military could uh, infiltrate the city and do their will. All right. Start killing people and so on and so forth. Whatever it was to, to take the spoils, whatever the case may be. Now, this is what's happening. OK, we're going to play that that video. But that's what's uh, happening. All right. These troops are uh, being commanded to, to go into uh, into various people's homes. All right. And this is all according to the prophecy, 2nd Ezra 15, the 15th chapter, 2nd Ezra the 16th chapter, all right? But I'm going to read this uh, definition one more time. It says, a siege, a military operation in which enemy forces surround a town or building, cutting off essential supplies with the aim of compelling the surrender of those inside, right? And these sieges will get very ugly in the ancient world and it's going to get very ugly here, all right? Things are going to escalate very quickly, uh, uh, very quickly here, man, all right? And let me just grab an example of how bad a siege can get. All right. And this is judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's allowing these things to happen. All right. Because the Lord is bringing judgment upon the nation of Israel. All right. That's why um, when these troops come in, they're going to deal with you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans in the hoods and the barrios. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. The bat batios. All right. But anyways, where the northern kingdom resides, pretty much the northern kingdom ghettos, they're going to deal with you Israelites very harshly, man. All right. They aren't going to care um, uh, about uh, they are going to um, uh, care about how old you are, how young you are, what a state you're in. All right. Uh, it doesn't matter. All right. It's going to be the fury of the Lord upon them, man, upon these troops. As it says in the book of Isaiah, the 10th chapter, I'll hit that real quick. Um, Isaiah uh, chapter 10. And there's plenty of precepts that we can jump into. All right. Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. Uh, Daniel's. Uh, Daniel, the 12th chapter. All right. The scriptures talk about a day that's like no other that's about to come. All right. Things are going to escalate and get very bad here very quickly. All right. And you can see it right before our eyes playing out. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 10. And um, 
Verse uh, five, it says, oh, Assyrian. Now, the modern day Assyrians are the Edomites, the so-called white men. All right. The Assyrians actually were uh, known for their great skill in siege warfare. All right. They were very skilled in siege warfare. They uh, they besieged the northern kingdom. That's why you read in the book of uh, Kings, um, first or second Kings, or where it goes into the account where a dove's, uh, uh, dove's dung was sold for like a, a few pieces of silver. All right. So they were selling shit. All right. For um, uh, for uh, at a high value, man. That's how bad the Assyrians besieged the northern kingdom. And that siege wasn't I believe if I'm not mistaken, that siege was like around three and a half years. Now, you'd have to go back and uh, uh, check that. But I believe that siege lasted that long. So that siege wasn't a, a short time, man. All right. That was a long period that they went through that, man. So hey, a siege can get very hectic. All right. Is the point, though. But um, oh, yeah, even to the point to where, though, there was uh, two women. All right. Uh, the two women in that siege, uh, they uh, they uh, they conspired together to uh, to eat one woman's child. All right. So cannibalism was done in that siege. Now, right now, people probably still can't see things get to that point, but it's going to get there. All right. So enough of me speaking. Let me go ahead and uh, finish this precept. Isaiah 10 and 5. Oh, Assyrian, the rod of mine anger and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. So the great wrath that these troops are going to be coming in with. All right. That's wrath from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh It's his indignation, all right, towards who? You Israelites, man, chiefly. It says, verse 6, I will send him against an hypocritical nation, which is talking about you Israelites, all right, and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. And that's exactly what they are going to do, all right? I'm going to hit this in Jeremiah, the 19th chapter, then we're going to play that video. This is Jeremiah chapter 19 and verse 9. And it says, And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters, and they shall eat every one the flesh of his friend in the siege and straightness wherewith their enemies and they that seek their lives shall straighten them. All right. So this is just showing you how bad a siege can get, and it's going to be worse in these times. And let's go ahead and play this clip. This is Dabu7. We have Trump now considering enforceable quarantines inside of New York, New Jersey, and parts of Connecticut. Right. Now it says enforceable quarantines, right? Force, meaning a military presence. They're going to force you to be in these quarantines, right? There's going to be consequences for breaking the quarantines, all right? It isn't going to be, okay, we're going to throw him in jail. No, it's going to get to the point to where... They're going to start putting people to death immediately. All right. Firing squads, lining people up, shooting them in the streets. This is how bad it's going to get out here, man. And we see the escalation towards that very rapidly before our eyes, man. Saying that he's considering these short term quarantines to try to stop the spread of this outbreak. He says, I'm thinking all of this right now. We might have to do it, but there's a possibility that sometime today, will go into quarantine mode. Enforceable. They are doing everything they can to not use the terminology mandatory quarantine or lockdown because this is essentially what this is going to be. Anytime they're using the police to enforce anything, well, that's mandatory. Like, you have to do it. And that's... Right. And a mandatory quarantine, all right, or forced lockdown is nothing, once again, but a siege because they're forcing you to stay within your homes, all right, or stay within a certain area, okay, for a time period uh, 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 with the military surrounding you, man, all right, that's all that it is, and the military is controlling the resources to where they're going to be rationing out food, all right, what, you, you uh, if you want to eat, okay, well, you have to take the RFID chip, you can only have this much food just to make sure that it's enough for everybody, see, this devil, he's trying to still act like, oh, we're doing this for the benefit of the people, but it's going to come a point all right, it's going to come a point where the people, all right, these American citizens, they're going to rise up against this devil. All right, they're going to rise up against the government as we're going to read in the book of Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, man. It's only so it's only so long. All right, you can only besiege the people and continue to strip away their rights. All right, quarantine 
these citizens for so long, man, until they start retaliating. It's going to be happening very soon. It's the direction that this is going into. We also have a lot of red flags flying out of Rhode Island. Many people upset. And I'm talking people that aren't even like in this realm of truth and news reporting. Like people from the markets and everything else. Anthony Pompolino surprised me today. He was talking about the martial law, the National Guard and the police being used in Rhode Island to hunt down New Yorkers. And we were talking about this on the live show last night as well. It's crazy. They're going door to door. They're going to people's houses if they suspect that someone from New York can be in there. Right. It says they're going door to door. All right. In Rhode Island, in Rhode Island they're going, go, going door to door uh, if they suspect that somebody from New York is in their house. Now, how ridiculous does that sound, man? <laughs> okay. What do you think they're going to be doing? Well, they're going to be doing what the scripture says. As a matter of fact, I was going to wait to the end of the video, but I'll go ahead and grab it now. Just on that point, uh, this is 2nd Ezra 16. <clears throat> and people still have a certain amount of trust for the government. So they say certain things like that. Okay, we're just trying to make sure nobody from New York is in here because they could spread the disease over to Rhode Island. We're doing all the measures that we can to, to help the safety of the people. All right, well, what do you, these troops are gonna be coming in and they're gonna be doing all manners of wickedness and who's gonna say or do anything about it, man? All right? They'll say, oh, well, we suspected that somebody from New York was in there. Well, what if nobody was uh, uh, in there from New York, man? And they go in there, all right, <laughs> and just grab somebody, throw, throw them in a concentration camp. It's gonna be all manners of wickedness, man. Happening. This is Second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse seventy. Uh, we'll start at verse uh, seventy. It says, uh, "For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord." Right, and that's starting off with you Israelites, man. All right, you're the ones that fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, fear the Lord to any degree. All right, and the scriptures even go further. In the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter, the last verse, it says that the, uh, that the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. And then that keep the commandments of the most high and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. So ultimately, who Esau Edom wants the most is those that are serving the Lord, man. He wants the prophets. All right. The prophets are the true issue. All right. And he knows that those men, certain of those men are going to get power. Spiritual power, which was promised because he has the history of it, of our forefathers having spiritual power when we were connected back unto our Lord, how he dealt with us uh, mightily to where we overcame our enemies. So he knows these things, man. All right. And he's in his mind, he's going to be like, I'm, I'm fighting. All right. I'm not giving up my kingdom. I'm going to fight. All right. If y'all got spiritual power. OK, well, you're going to have to fight against me and my technology and what I got. All right. Esau's not going to just lay it down, man. OK, and that's why the Lord, that's another reason why the Lord is going to give his men power. All right. Pursuing to Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, it says, with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, all your military vehicles, man. It's going to be a movie out here. All right. All right. But uh, to get back to the point, you know, that was a side note. Second Ezra 16 and uh, 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And they shall be like madmen, sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, right? So they're going door to door. All right, they're going to be kicking people out of their houses. All right, wait, what? He may, he may be from New York. Take everybody in the household, take them to a camp, quarantine them all. You getting kicked out of your crib, man. Somebody could, hey, I don't know. I don't even know nobody from New York. Well, hey, hey, quarantine. I, I just think y'all, one of y'all might be. All right, quarantine them all, man. All right. <laughs> He's going to be doing crazy stuff like this, man. It says, then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. And that's right, man, because in these end days, you're going to see the divine intervention happening uh, for those that uh, actually are serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. But anyways, let's go back. Like going door to door, they're going to people's houses if they suspect that someone from New York can be in there. A double edged sword, but this is what is happening. And as he said, it's one thing to use caution, it's another to be constantly eroding our freedoms. But this is the latest here that Trump is saying 
I'll continue to update. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for breaking news. And make sure to follow me over okay, here. Okay, well, that's pretty much the end of the video anyways, all right? So let's jump over to 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 15. And we'll start at verse uh, 13 or 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, right? Because the Lord is sending judgment throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right? Not just here in Babylon, all right, but throughout the whole world, man. It says, verse uh, 15, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. Now, the sword is used to bring forth death, right? So these things are coming close, man. Hey, it's going to get uh, uh, like, like the sand in the world, man, zero to 100, all right? It says it draweth nigh. It's close, all right? People are going to be uh, dropping dead in mass numbers very soon, man. It says, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. That's your race rights, all right? Class rights, all types of uh, 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 wars in the streets, okay? <laughs> You're going to have people trying to <laughs> uh, uh, mess up Moab because Esau says that uh, China is responsible. So all the Asians and Chinese people, the Moabites, all right, they're, they're going to be targeted. So you're going to have Esau fighting against them. And then you're going to have Jake fighting against Esau. All right. All types of things are going to be happening out here, man. It says, um, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And that's what I was mentioning before. All right. People, are, you, you can only quarantine for so for so long, right? You can only uh, uh, take away all the resources in, uh, in, in, in uh, uh, what's the word for it again? Um, ration it out, all right? For so long until people start saying, fuck it, all right? I'm gonna go get it on my own, all right? I'm gonna go get it on my own. I'm gonna go rob somebody. I'm gonna go uh, uh, invade somebody's crib to get what I need, man, okay? It says, um, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, right? So they aren't gonna care People are going to they're not going to care about these quarantines for much longer. I don't care that the governor said that we need to self quarantine for uh, 14 days. All right. I don't care if the governor says that we need to shut down businesses. All right. I need to feed my family. All right. I need to do this. I need to do that. They're going to do those things, man. All right. They aren't going to care. It says in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And you already see a small example of that over there. And uh, I believe it's Baltimore. Spirit had me do a lesson on it. I believe it was last week. How um, um, the police said they aren't uh, they aren't going to arrest anybody for nonviolent crimes, nonviolent crimes. They said theft, robbery, um, I think like Grand Theft Auto. Uh, I forget the list of crimes. It said prostitution was on there. Um, you'll have to go back and check the video or just look it up online. But it was a list of things that they saying they aren't going to arrest for. So if you call 911, somebody uh, ran into my crib, they robbed my house. Oh, well, did, did anybody die? No, but I, I need my... Well, sorry. Sorry, man. We can't help you right now. All right? These are the things that are happening, man. Well, you've got even people that, uh, that are getting injured, all right? And they need to go to the hospital. All right? They need an ambulance. And the ambulance like, look, we, we, we can't help, help service you uh, for that right now, man. All right? We aren't servicing uh, uh, that issue right now because of the, the COVID-19 uh, crisis. All right? So we see the collapse of America, man. Everything's collapsing and things aren't going to get back to normal. All right. It says uh, second Ezra chapter 15 or to the normal that you used to uh, you're, you're used to experience the freedoms that you're used to having. Should I say second Ezra uh, chapter 15 and verse 16 for there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. Uh, they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Right. You want to go over to the next town. All right. You want to go uh, see your family, all right? Whatever the case may be, you aren't going to be able. Why? Because they are quarantining these cities, all right? Nobody can go in and out. The military is uh, uh, putting blockades up, and they're stopping these things, man. They've got military checkpoints that are being set up right now, man. Okay, we are in the midst of a siege. It says, uh, verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. All right. So this is what all right, we're seeing happening. 
everything's escalating into these prophecies being fulfilled. All right, so I'm gonna end it right there, Lord's will. That was that a fun. I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, the bonders to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom.